Got this old uh, 1985 Ranger 330V that I just bought, and I've got the Mercury 135 horsepower Black Max motor on it. Um, when I got it out of the lake, I noticed I was having a little bit of problems with some starting and some performance issues. Um, so I, I did a tune-up, I changed the spark plugs out, but I wanted to uh, take the fuel pump off and inspect it. Um, I took it apart there, and I found that I've got some of the diaphragm coming apart, so I got a rebuild kit from mercury for it and i took the fuel pump apart and um, when i took apart the the body of the fuel pump i noticed that there was some some differences in it we've got a a rubber uh, check valve on the factory one and the aftermarket kit which actually it's a quicksilver kit comes with the uh, plastic ones and they've got the instructions where they say to actually to to drill these holes out to 0.125, which I checked with my uh, drill bit, which is an eighth of an inch, and, and <clears throat> they're actually at that size already. So I went ahead and, and installed those in there, and um, it also came with, with new spring and, and plungers there. And so um, basically to, to put it back together, you just follow the instructions of the diagram that came with the, uh, the mercury kit. And uh, we follow the, uh, the plate and the rubber diaphragm along with the gasket. And then I've got the inner portion with the valves and I've got my, um, my spring plunger installed. So we'll put it together. It's kind of a, kind of a, a sandwich, sandwich operation here. The new parts installed. And the easiest way that I've kind of found to do this is the bolts that hold it together. Kind of just get everything lined up on those bolts in the order that they that they go in. And I was glad to have these, uh, these instructions because they came out with, with the, the kit that shows the blow up of the diagram of how everything goes back together in the order that it should. All right, we just kind of cut it finger tight, put together. And then on the back, there's a couple of holes that line up to the motor. And it comes with this gasket. And then there's a, a hole that tells you where it should be. And we've already scraped out the old black gasket, cleaned it up. And so now we're gonna install it on the motor. Wiggle it through to make sure we're getting it lined up. And then, for the instructions, we've got to install it and torque it down to 50 to 60 inch pounds. We'll go over here to the motor. that to 50 inch pounds and we're gonna go ahead and torque this down and I like to make sure that I kind of run them all in and
there it is, 50 inch pounds. You can see the other, the torque wrench breaks over. All right, and then after torque models, I like to go over them just, just, just again. Make sure everything breaks over right at 50 inch pounds. And then now I'm gonna put my fuel lines on. And I'll also replace the, uh, the inline fuel filter. It goes between the pump and the carburetors. Run that down, make sure that's good and snug. Also on the bottom. Now these were held on with zip ties, but I had these little uh, fuel clamps. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put the, the clamps back on, the metal fuel clamps, in place of the, uh, the black zip ties. All right, that's it. Got the fuel pump installed now. Runs good. Fixed to go try it out.